everybody. Today I am bringing you a layout of my grandson with sugar cookies. This will be, I believe, my last Christmas layout. I think this is the last one. I've pulled some papers from October afternoon here and I'm now just sort of playing with what I'm going to use. I thought about the blue because he had so much blue in his shirt, but actually it looks much better against the red. And the reason I just showed you that date on the back of the photo is that I don't scrap chronologically. So what I do is I write the dates and perhaps title ideas or anything else I really want to remember, I write that on the back of the photo with a slick writer. And that way when I come back to it at a later date, I have all the information I need. Now, that red paper that I've mounted the photo collage on is from October Afternoon Under the Tree and it is called Cocoa Sipping. And then the green paper that's going to act as the background paper there is October Afternoon Under the Tree Mistletoe Kissing. I have this white space to fill right in the middle of that photo collage. So what I am doing is I'm actually measuring it so I can get an accurate measurement. I don't often measure things. Most of the time I sort of just do it by eye. But in this particular case, because it is a square, it's in the midst of everything else, I'm going to want to actually get that measurement down. I made this photo collage in from a website called Pick Monkey. It's P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y. And it is a free photo program. You just go to the website and you can register and save photos and all of that kind of stuff. I just use it every I just use it without even registering. You can do the collages, you can edit things. Um, if you don't pay you don't have as much access or as many templates to use but so far I've pretty much found what I needed just using the free the free app or the free website. So what I've done now is I've put down that piece of polka dot paper. That is October Afternoon's uh, Silent Night. The paper is called Sleigh Ride. And I'm going to put on this banner sticker and the banner says, Tis the Season to Sparkle. That banner is again from October Afternoon under the tree and it's from the word stickers, from that word sticker sheet. Uh, everything actually, I'm going to stop saying October Afternoon because everything on this page is October Afternoon except for the thickers. And I'll, you know, I'll mention those when we get to them. So I'm playing around with some die cuts here and I like the gold in that die cut but that die cut isn't even going to eventually make it on the on the layout here and right now what I'm doing I believe is I'm going through and I'm looking through some of my October afternoon. I have lots of label stickers and word sticker sheets and I've kind of I'm kind of looking at those to see what I can find to go with this. Since I have so much October afternoon product I actually want to use it. And what I've done here now is I've pulled this this mouse sticker and the mouse is holding a sugar cookie. And since the layout is about sugar cookies I thought it would be perfect. But it is it's not going to fit right. This is kind of bothering me. I'm having a hard time getting the mouse to fit in with the label stickers that I want to try to use for journaling. And eventually what I do is I decide on this this other label sticker here but again I'm having a hard time making it fit. So I'm playing around with some different label stickers. I'm going back to the first sheet of label stickers that I looked at. The mouse sticker is from the Silent Night collection from the Shape Stickers. And the label sticker that I'm eventually going to choose, which is the smaller label sticker that, you, that you're seeing there on the right, that label sticker is from Very Merry from the label sticker set. What I finally did is that mouse had a very long curly tail and it wasn't working for me because it was always in the way of the writing I was going to need to do. So I made the, the sticker work for me. I just cut off the tail. And you really, 
you really can't tell. So, you know, sometimes I forget that, that I just need to make the product work for me and doing simple things like cutting pieces off or changing things around can actually make things work perfectly, which is what it did. Once I did that, the sticker worked great and I end up using it. And really, frankly, I think the mouse sticker with a cookie is cute, but I don't know whenever... I don't know when else I would actually use this sticker. Maybe if I did a card or something like that, but I don't make my own Christmas cards. So since I this is perfect for this layout, I'm going to make the mouse work for me, which it does. Then I add here a little arrow that says cookies on it, and it's a little die cut. It's from the Daily Flash collection, the Snap Caps, the Eggnog Snap Caps caps and that was a Christmas collection and I looked at that and I used the gold because the cookie has some gold on it and like I like that and then the die cut at the top there also has some gold on it so I'm looking at all of that but that die cut is not going to make it I, I don't think it goes back on there I tried to use a sticker Santa sticker from holiday style that's not going to work I'm trying to put all of that up at on the top right corner of this photo collage and it's just not working for me part of it is is my grandson's head is really close to the edge of that frame up on the upper right and I'm having a problem because of that because things are not laying because I can't I don't want to cover his head things just are not laying properly so I'm struggling with that. I will eventually solve that, but then we're going to move that cluster just a little bit. So now I'm trying some more things. I, excuse me, I went to the chip and stick and tried some chipboard there, but that's just not going to work. Um, I also have not glued down the photo collage yet because I know I need to get a title on there and I'm not set yet on what's going to happen for that upper cluster. So now this is where the upper cluster is going to go. I finally decided I'm fighting it so much trying not to put something on his head I need to just <clears throat> move it. And so what I do is I find that little sort of banner tag piece from the Daily Flash snap caps. Again, that's from the eggnog um, snap caps. And that seems to work really well. I like it. It's getting that gold up to the top, just like I wanted to do to echo what's going on with the mouse and the cookie in the bottom. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm just trying a few things to see if I can make them work. I really wanted to use some flare because I like the flare from this collection, from the Under the Tree collection, but it's not going to work. It's too heavy. So I'm, I'm still not quite settled on that, that tag down there because I really wanted a little bit more room to journal, but then I realized that really basically the pictures really tell the story. It's a progression of my grandson making cookies with his mom and um, his other grandfather. And it's just so cute. It goes from him, you know, first holding the dough in his hands and rolling the dough out to the very last photo is a picture of him having eating one of the cookies, which is really cute. I did at the top uh, upper right cluster there actually add a snowflake it's a round snowflake sticker that is from holiday style from the shape stickers and I'm just getting all of those the the mouse position properly with the label sticker up underneath it and I did put that um, or I will put that cookies arrow on up on some foam tape so I can get some dimension underneath that. And now I'm kind of thinking about my title. Where is that going to go? I love those candy cane like alphabets but those are not going to work for this title. The 
the font was getting lost in the green words in the back of the paper and then having it sit on that red paper for some reason just it just was not working so I'm going to give up on eventually give up on using that I did put that banner sticker up on some foam adhesive again to give that dimension a lot of the page is flat and I wanted to bring a little bit of height to it the snowflake sticker there is also on on a little bit or I'm putting it on some foam adhesive because it really needed to have some height just so that there was height somewhere at the at the bottom there's height in the middle with the banner sticker and then height at the top so if, if, if actually if you read it down there's height in all three of the areas and now I'm playing here I want another element up on that top right and I just showed you this is how I store my tools so I actually have um, a porcelain flower pot and I just it it matched well it matched the color of my room at one point I'm no longer in that room but um, it's just really handy that sits on my desk and things like scissors and pens and tweezers and my Cricut spatula all sit in that so what I did there for the round element that I was thinking about for the cluster on the upper right is I pulled enamel dots that look like the round peppermint candies they're from pebbles and they're called candy cane dots and I believe that was from not it wasn't from Christmas 2015 it was from Christmas 2014 one of the hard things about those though is they stick great on the sheet but when you take them off they don't stick very well so I I always forget that and then I put one on and it falls off and I have to grab a, a glue dot and that's what I'm doing here I'm grabbing a glue dot to get that down and I and I am going to change that slightly in just a minute once I look at this so I'm finding places for a couple more of these candy cane enamel dots and they're just they're really cute in real life on a page I used a lot of them this year in my December daily again so I get a second one down and I want a third one somewhere in the cluster now I decide as I'm looking at this that it looks a little bit unbalanced because there's nothing on the other side of the banner there's um, and it the other thing that's really bothering me that I don't key into right away is the weight of that larger enamel dot on the banner is throwing off the balance so I put two smaller ones down because I didn't want to do two big ones I put two smaller ones down there and then I change it from a small enamel dot at the top to a large one and I think that's going to help but really what I end up doing in the end is I need to flip where the enamel dots are on the banner and that helps the balance of the page so I put the big one towards the bottom left and I take the two smaller ones and I put them towards the top right of that banner and that's much more balanced so it's kind of fun because the peppermint candy dots lead your eye right through the layout all right so I have that down and I'm happy about how that looks now and what I'm doing here is I'm just finishing a little bit of journaling after all of that I forgot the title so you will see that in the still shots that are coming up in just a minute at the end of the video and I also have a couple of detail shots so you'll be able to see the dots a little bit better hope you are all well and we will see you soon bye